Mark Twain said to keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great people make you feel that you too can become great. It wasn't that long ago that my favorite basketball player to watch was Michael Jordan. And there's been a lot uh, said about him recently on social media. In fact, my newsfeed has been full of old videos of Michael Jordan. I also enjoyed watching his teammate, Scotty Pippen. I never really knew how Pippen got his start with the Bulls until recently. In an old New York Times article, Harvey Ayrton wrote about a six foot two, 145 pound scrawny kid in Humberg, uh, Arkansas. Playing point guard for his high school team, he had no prospects for future college ball, much less the NBA. Donald Dyer, the head coach of the University of Central Arkansas, offered Pippen a work-study scholarship as the team manager. This was not a new gig for Pippen as he served his high school team as the football team manager, so he accepted the coach's offer. Growing six more inches and later granted the opportunity to prove himself on the court, Pippen averaged 23 points a game for Central Arkansas, and he earned a full scholarship. Of course, the rest, as they say, is now history. We all have to start somewhere, don't we? When God sees us, he doesn't see the water boy or towel dispenser. He doesn't see the bench warmer either. When God looks at us, he sees our potential, what we can become. In the Gospel of Common Sense, the book of James, the writer deals with the concept of our power to become. I think we often feel like God is looking for great people to use for the big stuff in life, when in reality, God takes ordinary people with ambition and makes them great. James said, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to them that love him? James 2 and verse 5. Now, unlock your hidden potential. Go out and be great, for you already are in his eyes. May God bless you.